For running a sample, it's important that we take a background first. This will eliminate any peaks that are due to the instrumentation or film on the windows. To take a background first, you have to clean the crystal. So we're going to use IPA. We want to squirt the IPA on the chem wipe first. Then you'll clean the crystal in an outward fashion. And then go ahead and dry it using a dry clean chem wipe. Once the crystal is clean, you can go ahead and take a background. To take a background, you will click the background button. The background is saved in the background of the software, so you won't physically see it on the screen. Next, you're going to want to collect your sample. Make sure that you're putting a sample ID in the sample ID box before you run it. To collect a sample, go ahead and place that sample on the crystal. And apply pressure. You can go ahead and click the scan button and it will go into preview mode. In the preview mode, you'll notice a force gauge at the bottom of the screen. Make sure you apply enough pressure to be able to get a good spectra on the screen. This is usually around 90 force. You'll see some good peaks show up. Once you have a good spectra, go ahead and hit scan again. Scanning again will actually start collecting the data. Now that you have the data, you may want to run a library search or a compare. To run a library search, go ahead and hit the search button. The library search is going to run. The more items in your library, the longer the search takes. And your search values will all show up on the right hand side of the screen. So for this one, the top search is polypropylene and the standard we ran was polypropylene.